In today's video, we're going to be using the turtle module in Python to code up this sailing boat image. As you can see, it's just made up of some basic shapes like circles, triangles, and rectangles. So let's jump over to our Python editor. I'm using Mu, and we'll get started. Okay, the first line we need to write in, as always, is from turtle import star, which is just saying we're going to import everything from the turtle module. So we've got access to the functions that allow us to draw on the screen. I'm going to type in the setup function first of all, and I'm going to have 800 pixels width for my window size and 500 pixels in height. I'm also going to set the speed that we draw at to zero, so we are drawing at the quickest speed possible. Now the first thing I'm going to do is add the sky color in, which is simply just changing the background color of the page. So I'll put in a comment by including a hashtag before this line that just... Um, makes the computer ignore this line of code. It just describes what's happening um, in this section of code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call up the BG color function and I'm going to use the color light sky blue for my sky today. And I'm going to save it at this point. And I'll just call this one sailboat. And I'm going to give it a run and you'll see that my background color is a light sky blue. You also note that my window screen size is 800 pixels across, 500 pixels down. And in the middle of the page there, that's our turtle. Okay, so we will be drawing from that point very shortly. Um, the first thing we are going to draw into the page is the water, which is simply a darker blue rectangle down the bottom of the page. So I'm going to put in a comment there that says water. And I'm going to lift my pen up off the page. So lifting the turtle up off the page so when I move in a moment, uh, it doesn't actually draw a line across the screen. Next function we're going to use is the go to function where we just tell the turtle what coordinates we want it to go to. So I want it to go to the left hand side of the page. So I've sent it across negative 400, which is right on the left hand edge of the page. And I'm going to send it down the page to minus 150 for the Y value. Okay, and once we've done that, I'm going to put my pen back down so we are ready to start drawing. Now the colour I want the water is simply a medium blue. And we are good to go with drawing this water now, which is simply a rectangle. So I'm going to turn my fill on by writing begin fill, which just says the shape that I'm about to draw. We need to fill in with a colour. Now I'm, going to, I'm just going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to use a for loop to do that. We've learnt that in previous tutorials. So for i in range 2, I'm going to go forward 800 pixels, turn right, oops, not tight, right 90 degrees and then go forward 100 pixels and turn right 90 degrees one more time. That there, those four lines of code that have been indented, that'll draw half of a rectangle. And because we've got this line here that says for i in range 2, that's just saying we're going to repeat these four lines of indented code two times, or twice. Once we're finished repeating that code, we'll jump out of the loop by moving our mouse cursor back to the left-hand edge of the page. And I'm just going to write an end fill, open and close a bracket. And that there, the end fill, will just say this shape that we've drawn is going to be coloured in that medium blue colour. We've told it to begin the fill. This is where we end the fill. So it's the lines of code in between those two functions that will be filled in. So let's save it, give it a run, and we should have a blue rectangle, as you can see at the bottom of the page, which is going to be the water in today's um, artwork. Next thing I'm going to draw is the main section of the boat. So, you know, the brown section you see on the boat. Okay, so I'm going to put in a comment that says boat. I'm going to lift our pen up back off the page. And we're going to go to a new set of coordinates of minus 200. So we're still on the left-hand side of the page for our x-axis. And on our y-axis, we're going to head to minus 80, which is just a little bit down from the center of the page on the y-axis. Once we're in position, we'll put the pen down. We're going to change our color to saddle brown. And then we are ready to start drawing our boat. So I'm going to begin the fill. And before I start drawing, I'm actually going to turn right 45 degrees because I want my first line to go at a bit of an angle. 
Once we've turned, I'm going to go forward a hundred pixels and then turn left 45 degrees. And we're going to go forward 250. We'll go left again at 45 degrees and go forward 100. That'll do us for the boat, so I'm just going to end the fill off there. Okay, so we've got begin fill and end fill just here. And the lines of code in between those two functions will create a shape that will be filled in with the color saddle brown. So let's run it and have a look at the shape we've drawn. We've drawn the bottom of the boat. Okay, looking good. Next thing I might do is draw the mast that goes up in the middle of the boat. So I'll stop my code running there. I'll put a comment in that says mast. And like we've been doing, lift our pen up off the page and go to a new set of coordinates. This time we're going to be smack bang in the middle on the x-axis and just a little bit down on the page, um, on the y-axis, sorry. So minus 80 we'll put in for that value. Once in position, the pen will go down, ready for drawing. The color we're going to use for the mast is black. And we are ready to go. So let's begin our fill. And I'm going to turn left 45 degrees to make sure we're facing the correct way. And I'm simply going to use a loop to draw a rectangle mask. It's going to be a skinny little rectangle. So as we did before, we use a for loop for I in range 2, colon. Now we indent the next few lines of code. We go forward 200, which is taking us up in the air to draw this mask. Our mast. We'll turn left 90 degrees, go forward 10. So it's a nice skinny little mast. And left 90 degrees again. Okay, and as I said before, we've got this line here that says we're going to repeat the code below two times. So all of this indented code will be repeated two times. And that will create our skinny rectangle mast. Once it's done, Jump out of the loop by moving your mouse cursor back to the left edge of the page and write in end fill bracket bracket. And that should have a mast drawn for us. Let's have a quick look. All right, so not too bad. Our next thing we might throw in are the sails. Okay, so let's just push our page down a bit. We'll put in a comment and we'll do the right sail first of all. So again, we'll go with that little pattern we've got by lifting our pen up and going to our new set of coordinates. 0 on the x-axis, 120 on the y-axis. So we're now going up the page because we're in the positive numbers on the y-axis. Once in position, as always, we'll put our pen down on the page ready for drawing. Color of the sails we're going to use today is white. And we can turn our fill on now by using the begin fill function. Now to draw our sail, we need to turn right 130 degrees to begin with, and go forward 250. We'll then turn right again at 140 degrees and go forward 190. That should be enough of our shape drawn to fill it in, so we can end our fill off at that point, just to show that these lines of code just here will create a triangle shape that we filled in with the color white. Let's save it and have a look, and we should have the right sail on our mast looking pretty good. I guess you could stop there if you wanted to, but I'm going to add a second um, side to this sail here. So I'm just going to put in a new comment that says left sail. Oops. And again, that same old pattern, pen up, go to. Actually, I won't even go to this time, because all I want to do, let me just show you what I'm going to do. Just thinking about that, our turtles here, we just want to get over to the other side of the mast over here. So why don't we just jump across that mast? Okay, so instead of doing go to set of coordinates, let's just go forward um, 14 pixels. And then we'll put our pen down at that point. Uh, we'll turn on our fill. We don't need to change our color because it's already set to white previously up here, so we don't need to write it again. We'll begin our fill, and we're going to go forward 180 this time. Turn right at about 139 degrees, just to be specific. And we will go forward again, this time 240 steps or pixels. And at that point, we'll be able to end the fill, and we should have our left sail drawn with this little section of code here. Let's have a look. 
There we go, not too bad. So we've got our boat pretty much done. Last thing I want to add in is the yellow sun up in the top left hand corner. So let's have a crack at doing that quickly. Put in a comment. It says sun. Again, we'll lift our pen up. Now to get up into the top left hand corner, we go to minus 300 for the X value. So it moves us, moves us to the left. And to go up the page, we're going to go 150 for the Y axis value. So that'll get us up somewhere near the top left hand corner of the screen. Now that we're there, we'll put our pen down and we're going to change our color to yellow. So we've got the yellow sun. Now from here, we'll turn our fill on by writing in begin underscore fill bracket brackets. To draw a circle, we simply write the word circle and then in brackets, we write in the size of the radius. So I'm going to go 40 for that. Not too big. And then I will end that fill off. Final line of code is simply hide turtle, which will just make our little turtle icon disappear once we've drawn our objects. So let's give it a run. Got our boat, got our yellow sun in the corner. So that there is a fairly simple tutorial on how to create a sailboat scene.